Hey everyone, I just wanted to wish you a happy Memorial Day and give you a brief 14-day update about what I've been up to in office as Village President. So first, before I get into anything, I do just want to take a second to pay respect and appreciation for the sacrifices that people have made to make all of this possible. Uh, government and all of the things, the free uh, democratic election that I was just part of, uh, that I am humbled to be part of, was not something that was free. Uh, many people sacrificed a lot for that to be able to happen, and it's worth taking, at the very least, a moment today to think about the sacrifice that people made to ensure our freedoms and our privileges and our rights that we enjoy so much today. So thank you, uh, especially if there are any uh, veterans watching this video right now. now I do also want to thank all the support, the outpouring of support and kindness and generosity from folks over the past couple weeks, whether it's because you live in town, whether it's because uh, you're into politics, whether it's because you enjoy seeing a young person in a leadership position. I've gotten so many kind words and notes and letters and phone calls and Facebook messages uh, from people who are just so kind and supportive. And I really appreciate all of that so much. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and keep this uh, honeymoon extended as long as possible. Um, but I do want to give you a couple updates about what I've been up to as village president so far. And I think it's important that this become a regular part of, of being village president, making sure to let people know what I'm up to and what's going on in village hall. So the first is right to that point. Started doing video updates after the board meetings. Did one, uh, our last meeting. And that's something that I'm going to do after every board meeting. Hopefully I'll try and get the videos up that night. If not that night, then the next day, the next morning, um, hopefully, just a brief four, five, six minute video update about what we've been up to. I think it's very important that we take as much of that information as possible, bring it out to people. So if you see the video from your Facebook, from your Twitter, from your email, forward that on to your friends, your networks, and your community. Make sure that people know what the Board of Trustees is doing and what our local government is doing. That's incredibly important. The next is that uh, I've started a page on southorange.org about open government. That's just going to catalog not only the resources that are available for residents already, but also talk about some of the things, the exciting things that we're going to be doing in the future in regards to open government. You can visit that page right now at southorange.org slash open. Uh, there's not a ton of information there, but we're adding more every day. And hopefully uh, bookmark that and check back and we'll keep information up there about the open government, transparency, and accessibility resources uh, that South Orange is offering to its residents. Also, we've, um, I've finalized, we're finalizing right now with the Office of the Clerk some plans to bring volunteers into the clerk's office. There's been so much energy and enthusiasm from residents over the past couple months from the campaign, and now I want to make sure we get those people involved in the government. So what we're going to be doing in the clerk's office hopefully is bringing in some volunteers to help them out with tasks that have not been able to be completed uh, really for, for lack of a full staff over many years. And I'd like to go from department to department doing this, sitting down with the department heads, the employees, and asking, well, what can I do as village president to help support your department becoming even more productive, even more efficient, even more cost effective, and offering even more services to our residents? Because at the end of the day, that is what government is all about. And I think providing that there are resources that I can provide, uh, especially including getting volunteers and cultivating that energy and bringing that into, into Village Hall. So as soon as we finalize those plans, we'll be announcing that. And anyone who does want to volunteer at the clerk's office, please, please feel free to do so. Please come in. We'd love to have you hanging out in Village Hall doing some work. Uh, one of the projects that hopefully will be done in the shorter term is taking some of the permit processes right now where you have to come into Village Hall and fill out the form by hand, and then our office has to process that by hand. We're going to hopefully be putting those online. That will not only save our office employees' time, but it will make residents' lives a little more easier because you'll be able to do those online. And that's the kind of thing that even if you don't have a, a computer or internet access at home, you can go to the public library, you'll be able to fill out the form online uh, right there, and that will just make that whole process all around a lot more efficient. And hopefully we can do that uh, from department to department going forward. I also uh, have looked at reorganizing and starting to put in place some groundwork to look at those committees. There are a lot of people who want to get involved. Some of the volunteer programs directly with departments is going to be great. 
but there's also a lot of committees that serve very valuable purposes. However, if you look at South Orange and you look at towns, sometimes even double or maybe even triple the size of South Orange, we still have more committees than they do. A lot of these committees were created and don't meet, and it's very hard to sustain that type of committee structure on a long-term basis. So what I'd like to do is look at some of those committees and see whether some of them can be converted from a uh, subject field committee to a project-based committee, where people come in, work on a project that has a set specified mission, very clear and concise mission, a deadline, finish it by the deadline, the committee dissolves, and we create the next one to work on the next project. The next is that I've been meeting with officials from other towns, um, from Maplewood especially, and also West Orange, talking about shared services. You know, in budget times like this, it's obviously incredibly important. I don't think anyone underestimates the importance of looking at uh, what we can do to make our departments more efficient, whether it's bringing in volunteers, which we're going to be doing very soon, as I said, um, or looking at what can be shared with other towns and made more cost effective. These are all things that we need to look at, and these are all things that I've started to lay the groundwork for even building upon um, our board's work over the past couple weeks. <clears throat> and that leads me to the next thing that I've uh, really tried to do and that I'm going to be doing even more of over the next couple weeks is making sure to meet with all of our trustees on an ongoing basis, make sure that I can gain the experience and perspective of the projects that they've been working on. You know, we've had some great work done by our board and, uh, and I would be remiss and, and I would be making a huge mistake as village president if I didn't make sure to sit down, reach out to our trustees, um, in addition to the residents and community groups and staff, and make sure that as village president, I have the full perspective of what all of our elected officials have been working on so that when we get to a project, I can add the most value possible building on their experience uh, and their work in these fields. Coming very soon, uh, as long as I do figure out an office situation, I will be uh, advertising some office hours, uh, at least a couple hours a week where people can come in and hang out and chat informally. I know it can be intimidating for some people to come up into a uh, a board meeting in front of a room full of people in front of the board and uh, and talk about an issue. I'd really love to give people a chance to be able to come in, sit down with me informally, and uh, and talk about those issues, well, whatever's important to them. And the next is a long-term planning session with our board, making sure that we're looking at and setting goals and values for three months, six months, a year, two years, four years, five years, making sure that we're setting goals, we're hitting those goals, and that we're going to be providing that high level of service to our residents in our community because at the end of the day that's really what this government is about. And the next is meeting more with business owners and I've done a lot of that already uh, throughout the campaign and over the past couple weeks but I want to make sure that we're keeping our business owners happy and that we're empowering them to succeed because our downtown success is so integral and is so weighted on the success of our individual businesses and they need to be part of that process. Same with Seton Hall. So I thank you for uh, checking out the two-week update as today, Monday, Memorial Day, is officially my 14th day in office. I was sworn in two weeks ago. Uh, it's been really exciting. It's been really crazy getting up to speed. South Orange doesn't have a transition process like most governments do, but our professional staff and staff here, and many people have been very supportive in, uh, in helping me get acclimated to our unique government process, as many people know, and making sure that we're really laying the groundwork to success on the line. So please, I encourage you, uh, if you have questions, concerns, drop me a line. My South Orange email is atorpy at southorange.org. Come to a board meeting. Come stop by Village Hall. I'm usually here during the day for at least a couple hours a day. I love to talk to people, see you around town. Again, I hope to do more of these video updates as, as uh, we move forward. I think it's very important to do so. And please keep updated and spread the word and make sure that our community is, is even more engaged and as updated on the process as possible. Thank you again and uh, have a great Memorial Day.